Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I'm Okwayemi Owoshini, and these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. Gunmen in the early hours of Wednesday defied the 24 hour curfew imposed by the Plateau State Government to attack Kwashla and the surroundings community, killing no fewer than 25 persons and burning some properties too. A security personnel who confirmed the incident said the victims were mostly women and children who ran to either because they thought the police was far and the attackers wouldn't go there. But the attackers were conveyed in a vehicle and dropped there before they attacked. And in Undo State, Governor Loki Ayedatiwa has dissolved the State Executive Council with immediate effect. Ayedatiwa also sacked all senior special assistants, SSAs, and special assistants. This was contained in a statement issued by his Chief Press Secretary Ebenezer Adeni in Akure, the state capital. The governor took over the reins of leadership in the state following the death of Governor Rutsime Akiri Dulu. And Justice Eyang Echo of the Federal High Court in Abuja has granted bail to the immediate past governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano. He ordered the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, EFCC to deposit the defendant's travel document to the court registrar. He subsequently adjourned the case till March 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th for continuation of trial. Obiano was arranged on nine charges of money laundering of 4 billion naira by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. And the federal government has asked for the support of the United States on its membership in the G20 and its seat on the United Nations Security Council. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu made the request on Tuesday at a bilateral meeting with the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken at the presidential villa Abuja. Addressing a joint press briefing after the bilateral discussions, Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Toga, said the discussions bordered on agriculture, food security, pharmaceuticals, security and artificial intelligence. And on business, the monthly inflation rate in South Africa eased again in December, dropping 0.49 percentage points to 5.1 percent as food prices hiked slowed, official data showed on Wednesday. South Africa's National Statistics Agency said the average inflation rate for 2023 was 6.0 percent and 0.9 percentage points lower in 2022, matching the upper limit of the Central Bank official target range. And on the foreign scene, a Russian military transport plane has crashed in the Belgorod region, close to the border with Ukraine, according to Russia's state media, citing the Ministry of Defense. The plane crashed in the region that has been regularly targeted in recent weeks by Ukrainian missile and drone attacks. Investigators and emergency workers had already arrived at a site in the Kroshansky district. And finally on sport, the Ghana Football Association on Tuesday sat Chris Ongtin as head coach of the senior national team with immediate effect. Ongtin was sacked following Black Stars' woeful performance and eventual exit from the ongoing Africa Cup of Nations AFCON in Ivory Coast. Cameroon scored twice with time taken away on Tuesday to snatch a dramatic 3-2 win over Gambia to secure an African Cup of Nations last 16th place and eliminate Ghana from the tournament. And that's it on the newsroom at this moment. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Okwayemi Owoshini. Bye for now.